I work for the International Finance Corporation, the acronym is IFC, we are part of the World Bank Group. Uh, and in my current uh, occupation, I am uh, leading the Africa investment for fintech. Yeah, because uh, uh, it's a very interesting kind of um, uh, gathering. There are so many things happening in tech in, in Africa, and particularly in fintech, the uh, sector in which I'm, I'm working on. But having one single event whereby entrepreneurs, investors, journalists, and experts in the field could meet and, and exchange ideas, and you know potentially draw lessons learned, uh, identify emerging trends, I think it's a very interesting moment. I'm quite enjoying myself right now. So fintech is basically uh, companies leveraging technology in order to provide financial services. Yes. So some, you know, the, the thing in Africa is that the incumbent sector, the bank and the insurance and the microfinance institution, they have not been able to bridge a lot of uh, market gaps. There's a lot of population uh, in Africa. One in four, for example, adult African has a bank account. Three others do not have it. Um, uh, in terms of access to credit, whether it is SME financing, whether it is low income population, they don't have access to it. Payment. Uh, there are extremely big inefficiencies in the payment system in one country as well as across the borders in, in Africa. So with technology, FinTech is basically allowing to address those gaps that have not been addressed by the incumbent formal uh, banking sectors. That's what we are investing in. If you look at themes, uh, financial inclusion is a big one. We talk about the M-Pesa mobile wallet kind of success uh, uh, story. There are a lot of mobile wallet operators in the rest of Africa that still need to uh, scale. Uh, the whole story is indeed there is 80% of the population of Africa with a mobile uh, phone and only 25% with a bank account. So we're looking at this. We're looking at uh, uh, mobile lending. Uh, uh, SME lending in particular is a very interesting space because uh, these are companies that have been included from the formal banking sector and they have now new companies based on new credit scoring analysis that are addressing uh, their needs. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, payment. Uh, uh, you know, I was talking in, in the panel this morning and I mentioned the fact that if you are in Kinshasa, in, if you are in the street, in where most of the bank's headquarters are located, if you want to send money from one bank to another just on the other side of the street, you know, because they don't have an EFT switch, you know, the, the money transfer goes through London. So there's a lot of uh, uh, interesting plays right now and uh, hopefully we will continue our investment um, in that field. So far we have four investments in Africa. Uh, sorry, five for a total of around uh, $50 million invested.